traditional Irish music and Celtic music and old time music. Uh, we love traditional music. So that was a medley of two Irish tunes called Tuttles and the New Custom House. And uh, the next that we're going to play is a Swedish tune. It was an old tune, but it's been converted to a new tune. That's called the Nightmare Lullaby. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, you can definitely hear how that one's a nightmare. Lullaby, not so much. Um, so yeah, the next thing we'll play, it's a set of three tunes. The first one has many names. It's usually known as Billy O'Rourke as the boy. It also has a more tragic name, Poor Nancy Died. Uh, we prefer not to mention that one. Uh, and the second one is 250 to Vigo. And the last one is one that I wrote called Butler Cove. Butler Cove, baby. Butler Cove, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
actually have to be about us any questions uh, you might know the answer if not we can google it for you after the show uh, and now this is a question how, Do you have how was your trip to Berkeley? Did you see that there? yes we uh, visited Berkeley College of Music in September and it was awesome it was really great definitely want to go there highly recommend going there to anyone else who wants to it's a great place <laughs> Yes, it is a college. It's like it's oh. usually a four-year college, but you can go for like some people go for like eight, some people go for two. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, next thing that we're gonna play is some new material for us, uh, never before premiered material, and it's original material. It also doesn't have a name yet because we just composed it recently, so uh, we'll be taking name suggestions as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
a name for either of them yet. We are taking suggestions uh, currently. I heard the suggestion Insomnia, which is actually a good name for a tune. Uh, but I slept like 12 hours last night, so that doesn't really apply to me. But Thank you, your dad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a uh, relatable title for uh, more to some than others, but uh, <laughs> it's a good title. <laughs> So back to some more traditional stuff. Uh, these are two traditional Irish tunes. Is there a name suggestion? It's a good name. Um, so yeah, two traditional Irish tunes, Lilting Banshee and Fratter's Jig, two of our favorites. <laughs> That's a good name suggestion. I take a lot of those. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Q and A section of the show is still open for anyone who's interested. Uh, and also, we'll take this moment to announce. Well, it's not really an announcement. It's more of a fact that all the music we're playing is dance music. And there's lots of space to dance, so <laughs> feel free to dance if you feel so inspired. 
Cello player rolls up his pant legs because he is a hipster. <laughs> As so indicated by the man bun. <laughs> Uh, yes, we are studying with a teacher. I have a great teacher, Lisa Ornstein, who's, yeah, she's a great fiddler. Yeah, she's great. And Dante. You have a teacher, too. Oh, <laughs> um, you're just talking about Lisa specifically. No, I have a teacher. Uh, Steve Sifka teaches a cello. I also do study with Lisa, but for cello studies, it's Lisa, or uh, it's Steve primarily. Really love his stuff. Yeah, so what's next on the set list, this is the Star of Munster, uh, and it's usually played in A minor, but we like it in G minor more. It has a nice uh, ringy, dark minor tone, so... <laughs> tuning now and it's just a whole step below standard tuning standard tuning is g d a e and this is f c g d uh and it's used quite a bit in like traditional irish music especially from a lot of fiddlers like uh padrick o'keefe and patrick kelly uh 
a lot of old people from Ireland who lived in like the 30s and 40s and played traditional music. Thanks, slipping. Uh, so the tune that we're gonna play is a traditional Irish tune called Johnny O'Leary's, which was written by the Irish fiddle player Johnny O'Leary. So it's a very inventive name and not actually sure if he used this tuning. I haven't been able to find much about him on the internet, uh, but I thought the tune sounded nice in this tuning. And while I finish tuning down, he will tell you about the instrument he's playing. So this is the Bauron. It is uh, the Irish frame drum, but this is not a traditional one because there's no frame in the back. Usually there's a cross piece that goes across here, but the newer ones don't have that because it's honestly a pain to play with it. Um, so this is just, you play it with a, this stick called the tipper, and it looks easy at first until you try to play it, and then it's hard. I learned this the hard way uh, when I tried to pick it up. Um, and it's just a, the duo between a fiddle and bauron is a, uh, bauron is what it's called. Might have already mentioned that. Uh, it's very, like, a traditional Irish uh, arrangement that you'll see. Just about, yeah. So yeah, as I already mentioned, this tune is called Johnny O'Leary's by Johnny O'Leary. Uh, we're still taking name suggestions for the original material we played earlier. Uh, I guess he just went the easy route and just went with his name. Dante and Eros Falks doesn't have like quite the same ring we're hoping for in a tune, so. Yeah, that's true. We can just spell out our name and I'll have a nice ring to it. So yeah, uh, I guess he just went the easy route and just used his name, which he might have to do. Who knows? <laughs>
decided what we'll play. Uh, we're going to do another set of three tunes, two of which are originals, and these we have named because we wrote them a long time ago. Uh, the first one is one that I wrote, and it's called Monty's Jig, because we were at this great camp, the Centralia Camp Out, that happens every August, uh, and we were at our campsite just like at 1 a.m. eating potato chips. Okay, thanks. I need to hire professional tuners. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we were at the campsite, just eating chips at 1 a.m., as one does. And then, like, a nice little corgi just came wandering into our campsite. It was not our corgi. No one we knew had this corgi, but uh, we looked at the name tag, and it said Monty. So we are like, okay, his name is Monty. The second thing we saw on the ra name tag was rabies. 
so at first we were a little concerned, then we realized it said he was vaccinated for rabies. Uh, so that was a nice relief. We knew we weren't going to get rabies. And I wrote a tune for him called Monty's Jig. Uh, and Dante wrote the second one, and he'll tell you about it now. So the second one is called the Queen's Jig, and it's it, the name's not actually that, that much fun. It's not like a fat corgi or anything. But uh, a while ago, in, <laughs> in another one of the bands I was in, we wanted to, uh, small children that we were, we wanted to make a, a set of tunes and call it the chess set, which with each tune uh, named after a piece on the chessboard. Uh, yeah, we were nerds, I know. Um, <laughs> so I was like, all right, so I composed this tune. I was the first to compose a tune that we were going to put in the set. This never ended up getting completed, by the way. Uh, I was the first to compose one, so I was like, I'm just going to take the best piece. This will be the queen, the queen's jig. Yeah, you're 17, Yeah, we'll see if that happens. Um, so, yeah, and then I, there's one more tune in it, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, the last tune ha doesn't have much of a story that we know of because we didn't write it, uh, but it's one of our favorite tunes. It's called The Hair and the Corn, uh, and it's a great traditional Irish tune. And uh, to be specific, it's like hair as in rabbit, the animal, not hair as in like <laughs> actual hair, because that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> what happened here? for the last three minutes, so that's three minutes less of set list that I have to worry about improvising.
left and I guess we can take requests for songs there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance we won't know them but Kiki's okay we've never played this as a duo but got it we've both played it individually uh, so yeah this is a tune that I wrote for our dog Kiki that's called waltz for Kiki because it's a waltz and I wrote it for Kiki inventive titling one that's already on our set list uh we've got a few more minutes we'll 
play one, a lot of them we've never played together. This one we haven't played for, I'd say like a year or so. Uh, it's an old time tune from somewhere in Southern America called Billy and the Low Ground. <laughs> time I tried to introduce a set like this, I totally goofed it up all over the place. So instead, I will make a quick, shameless social media plug. You can follow us, Dante and Eros Falk, on Instagram and Facebook, see what we're up to. There are small pieces of plastic for sale up here that happen to contain uh, digital files that have our music on them. So if you'd like to buy one of those, you'd feed a, a teenage musician for an entire hour if you were to buy one. So it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks. So yeah, uh, thank you for coming. We'll be back here next month to play again. No problem. Um, and so we'll play one more. This is a set of three tunes, the Unst Bridal March, which is a bridal march from Unst, which is a place a little north of Scotland. Uh, and then the second tune is O'Sullivan's March, and the last one is Hangman's Reel, which was requested earlier. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.